at six back out to sea after inspection and certification by the U.S. Coast Guard. The Ruby Princess cruise ship that struck Pier 27 in San Francisco Thursday finally set sail again this afternoon. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here on Crown for News at six. I'm Noelle Bello. And I'm Dan Thorne. The cruise ship was originally scheduled to leave on Thursday and has finally left for Alaska. But not all passengers were patient enough to stay on board. Crown for Sarah Stinson live in San Francisco tonight with the very latest. Sarah. Yes, yeah, some passengers had enough and they got off of the Ruby Princess after being docked here for three days in San Francisco at Pier 27. It used to be towering behind us here in the Embarcadero, but it is gone. More than 2,600 others waited it out and they're now headed to Alaska. The Ruby Princess finally set sail Sunday around 3.30, three days after it was supposed to take off for a 10-day Pacific Northwest Alaska voyage. When arriving to San Francisco Thursday, the Ruby Princess crashed into Pier 27, causing damage to the cruise ship. No one was injured. A big gash could be seen in the stern. And I heard a big crash. I looked over the side and the bumper was all at an angle. 3,300 passengers were on board at the time and disembarked after the crash. The new set of passengers for the Alaskan cruise quickly learned their trip would be delayed. We haven't said anything yet. We're just waiting. While the ship got fixed, passengers remained hopeful their trip would get underway as soon as possible. We could see the, uh, the damage to the ship. It looked impressive from the outside. Um, it didn't seem to be... Um, changing uh, things as we were boarding though, which was a little bit unusual. Those on board were able to come and go, allowing them to explore the city. We're just enjoying things and enjoying the view of our beautiful city and uh, definitely taking advantage of the amenities of the ship. It took three days to get the damage fixed and painted. The Coast Guard inspected the cruise ship and gave the all clear Sunday morning. As a result of the delay, the voyage will now be a seven day trip up north as opposed to 10. The cruise line is offering 100% refunds to passengers who decided to cancel their trip and a 75% refund to those who stayed aboard. And we will see the Ruby Princess back here in San Francisco at Pier 27 on the 16th. A few of the planned stops had to get nixed to, keep, to catch up for the time, so that's unfortunate, but it will be interesting to hear how the passengers feel when they get back in seven days. I'm Sarah Stinson reporting live in San Francisco. Back to you. All right, Sarah, thank you for that live report.